Hey guys, this is Stefan. Today I want to talk a little bit about one of the props and that's the picture wall. The picture wall, if you drag it into the scene, it comes with this nice beach scene, which could be there right now. Um, you can resize it, you can set it wherever you want in your scene and yeah, that's it. No, just kidding. Um, you have tons of options with the picture wall. First, you can set whatever picture you want as long as it's not bigger than 2048 pixels on the long edge and in, as it's in JPEG or PNG files. Um, you can just uh, click browse and then you can just um, look for whatever you want on your computer and set it up on the picture wall. As soon as you as it's loaded into satellite, it's in the library here forever. So um, you will have a lot of things here uh, sooner or later with all the picture walls. This is pretty, pretty nice. The picture wall also... Um, uses transparency in PNGs. I will talk about this feature a little bit later. It's really, really powerful. You can also colorize it. So if you're looking for more, more for um, a night scene, you might want to set it up in a bluish light. Uh, obviously, the main light also needs to have some kind of gel. And um, let's just set up some kind of... Uh, bluish light so it's like a moonlight or something i don't know so that's for the for the lighting options um, let's set this back to white and let's create something by using okay, the model close to the background and using a harsh light from the front so if you look at that image here the shadow here tells us, okay, this is a picture wall and not the actual model in front of that scene. In order to make this more or less realistic, um, we can make the picture wall self-luminous. That means the um, picture wall actually emits light. Well, it does not really emit light because it's not lighting the scene. So that means um, if you switch off all the cameras or all the lights, actually, you will have the silhouette, a perfect silhouette of the model. Um, but it takes away the shadows and it's basically self-lighting, self-luminous. You can set the luminosity, the brightness here with this slider. Then you can obviously also change the size which is helpful. I mean, of course you can set the size and then you can bend it. So it means you can bend it in that direction. That sometimes it's helpful to have that kind of distortion on an image. Sometimes it's necessary to, to have that. Um, and then you can also um, wrap it to the floor. It's not on the floor, but... Here you can see how it's actually rolling down to the floor and you can set also the radius here. So that's for the theory of the picture wall. And in order to give you some examples of what this thing is possible, I've created a few examples. So the first one, in this example, the picture wall is used to create this part of the wall. This wall has is a PNG and it has these holes in it. Um, there is a light behind that um, wall and so it casts a shadow. And this is really, really cool because you can create um, this kind of effect where a light falls through a window and you have this projection here in the background and this is really really nice effect um, the the window images here it's easy to to find something online that gives you basically the shape of these windows and that's all you need in this example here 
um, it's created for that wall here. Um, so it costs these shadows here. It's basically the file is just black stripes. Really simple. Nice effect. Next one. So this is a tough one. Where is the picture wall? The picture wall is actually the mask of Catwoman. So if we rotate around here, you can see it's missing its uh, dimension. So this is only a 2D thing. Um, also, the reflection here is obviously something that comes from, um, that is in the PNG file. So it's, yeah, that's the, that's a really clever use of the picture wall. And it's also a little bit bent. So it's closer to the face. Really nice. Now the normal usage or the usage that I use it normally is for my hand painted backdrops. So I can really simulate how does that portrait look like when I use it in front of my hand painted backdrop. So I can set the exact size for this backdrop and I have I made a picture of my backdrop so I can really show um, how it looks like if it's closer or farther away and um, I can also see how big it is and where I get start to get problems because of its size. One thing that's really, really nice about the um, hand-painted backdrops, um, my pictures have that um, they, I have, you know, the border is part of the picture. And now with the picture wall, I can just um, roll it down to the floor. So this is on the floor, actually. And so it looks a little bit more realistic, even more realistic, if um, it's part of a full body shot um, where I have the the whole model on it and I see probably parts of the floor. So that's really, really nice and really, really helpful. Um, it's pretty amazing what the people do with the picture walls. That's from parts of the, of the dress and I also have seen someone who's using the, the desk here and puts the actual actual image on that computer screen so you can see this and people are really really going crazy with the picture wall because the ability of having transparent pngs um, also gives you the ability to have um, shapes that are not exactly um, yeah all these shapes like this dog that was actually a joke it was really really funny because i made this talk this dog here peeing on the model this was really really fun i thought it was fun um so you can see that shape here of the dog is um based by the transparency of the png file you can also have like for something that's round I had something like this one. So if you want to have a pool somewhere, you can just use the picture wall and um, lay it on the floor. So obviously not bend. And then here, boom, you have your pool and the model standing in the pool. Make it self-luminous so it does not cast shadow. And here we go. She's swimming the camera set up correctly. It's perfect. So, so much for the uh, picture wall. It's endless uh, creativity with this um, prop and you will have a lot of fun actually because this is really, really cool and you can so do so many things and we see more or less daily new things popping up with the picture wall. So take care. This was Stefan. Bye-bye.